Welcome to today's show. I'm your host, Prophet Sydney Four, and today we're going to bring the Omen back. Uh, the only reason we're going to bring it back is because it's been overheating, and the suspect of this is thermal paste, pretty much. Um, it's been being used a lot for uh, rendering, so after a while, you can hear the fans moving, it overheats. So today we're going to open it up, and we're going to put thermal paste. We're going to install a little bit of thermal paste, reinstall on on some of the main components and if you guys have any questions or any comments let me know all right if you guys remember this thing is uh it's dirty so we're gonna clean it if you see it the fans are completely locking up in there it's because um it's overheating too so we're gonna go ahead and uh, take this apart my recommendation is get make sure you have something sharp uh sharp edge uh i recommend something like something small and simple that you won't scratch it um I got this little tool here, part of a tool kit. It has a little um, edge that you could just nut in there and kind of break it apart. So in here, you gotta find a little fine area and I, I pretty much found it here and go all around it without breaking it because you don't wanna pull it too much um, because some of the plastics are holding up the steam. So make sure you, you get a good grip on it and start from the, start from the front if you want best thing start from the front uh, it's easier to w work your way up to the back pretty much needs to be clean uh, this has been in the project and it's collect a lot a lot of dust so when I go back and put it in like a brand new machine of course we have an extended hard drive in here um, m.2 of course and on this side um, if we want to review it, the battery is pretty much, this is the battery, it's very simple to replace. A couple screws here and there, and then um, it just pretty much sits in here in this place right here. Um, make sure that you can always replace the, um, this hard drive with maybe uh, uh, getting an M.2 slot drive. It's a converter from a, a SATA drive to M.2, they do sell that because there's only one slot for an M.2 and that's over here. And then the memory, of course, it's hidden in the back one memory slot and we are gonna have to unlock this part right here so this is the it's it's adhesive on the actual system and we get access to everything else in here so we're gonna go ahead and remove this and then um start taking it apart you gotta make sure you disconnect this one right here it's in here embedded in here once you do that it's much easier to work with the system and get everything out And here goes it's all coming apart now slowly that's part of it it's gonna be a little hard trick to put back in there but this one is actually the actual base part of it we could leave it there I'm just gonna remove this one but just got to remember that this part goes in here remember the way it is all right because this is gonna have to come back and redo this whole thing it's out of the way this is probably the hardest part to remove out of this system and this one, you just pull it. You pull it back this way, and it comes out. Clean it up, of course. Um, make sure you clean this part up. That's pretty much it's all set. Now, there's this important right here. This part right here. This is the part that you need to remove the tape. It's a little tape, thermal tape. It's not tape. It's just regular black tape. You can replace this if you want, if you have any. And this pops out. You could take this apart. You could disconnect some more. But um, recommendations: just clean some of the, blow some air on there, and you should be good. But clean this very thorough because look how dirty it gets in there. It's really, really filthy in there. I mean, and this is for a couple months on it, not even a year. Put this on the side. And we lift the uh, we lift the whole system now. If you guys can see it, and look how old it is. If you guys can see all the thermal, it's dried up already. Um, we're gonna replace it, clean it up. Uh, the GPU and the CPU. All right, for this part, you're gonna need alcohol, right? So make sure you have a uh, nice napkins um, to rub some alcohol in there and clean it up as much as you can. Um, I'm going to take as much as we can out of it so we can put some more. 
But we're not going to cheese that. Get some more. All right. So we are probably going to have to replace these later down the line. I, I just don't have any right now at the moment. But the most important part is cleaning these two things. And like I said, cleaning this one and the top one. And look, look at this thing. How filthy it is. Look at this. The spider cog webs or something. I don't know what the hell it is. We're going to have to clean it up. It's encoded into some protected layers for, for moisture. So make sure you use rubbing alcohol on this one, all right? This is very important. All right, so we, we cleaned it up a lot. Everything's pretty much clean, a lot of places. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue on putting it back together and putting some thermal paste. Now people have different ideas of putting thermal paste. Um, one dot should be enough for these two. Um, it should be enough because it, the coverage is not that big. Now I couldn't get this thermal paste. It's underneath some plastic and I don't want to remove the plastic. So I'm going to leave it alone. It won't kill me or do anything. So we're going to put this back. One dot. One large shot. That's pretty much what I did. There we go. I don't care if it goes everywhere. As long as it stays within itself, it's fine. So this is the hardest part right here. We're going to put this back in there. And it's going to go ahead and spread out as soon as we put it back in there. Make sure you have your fans all set up first before you start moving things in and dropping it in. And that's pretty much why it goes. Oh, there we go. So there's a little slider in there that you have to slide it in there and pretty much lock it in. So. This pretty much does it. We put them all together, all the screws. Um, everything seems like it's stable enough. We're gonna put, go ahead and put the the last part is the tape. This part, uh, we might have to readjust the tape again, but hopefully it's enough adhesive to. Oh, it is to keep it together, and we do. Um, everything's covered up here. This covers the memory. It keeps the airflow actually going through. Now let's go ahead and cover it up. Look how dirty that thing was. So we're going to start from the back. It's all gripping up pretty good. That's it. Let's go ahead and cover it. And I did clean up as much as I can, but fortunately, you're not. We're not perfect, you know. But remember, the two back ones, these two, are the longest ones. Go in the back. Not enough juice, so let's crank it up. Let's see how well it works. It's coming on. All right, folks, so there you have it. If you have any problems trying to connect to this and uh, disconnect it and have every everything, all the screws, make sure you put them on a piece of white paper, you circle them, and you put them in different corners. When you blow air, don't blow towards them, all right? I did the mistake once. I'm not going to do it again a while back. Um, now, it, that's in for if you are having issues with overheating. Also, it could be a, a software issue, too. You could do a BIOS update. Um, HP has some great applications that automatically, you know, goes through the whole system. Now, 
there's a little couple of issues that you when it overheats um it's because the fans are too close to the bottom if you see it uh make sure you ele elevate the the fan the at least the laptop somehow they sell these these paddings in the bottom that go in there and they blow some air those are pretty good actually to keep it the, the, down the temperature to like in the 40s you know it's pretty good to do something like that uh make sure if you're having issues and it keeps shutting down on you and overheating it uh like i said uh best way to do it is do something like this in there but only if it's out of warranty if it's still in warranty send it back have them fix it you know um it's a little tedious a little hard to do that stuff um you need some sort of um, um knowledge of what you're doing before you do this stuff but if you have any questions or any comments i'm your host prophet 74 and we're out